Curtis. is sent packing for out number two in the inning. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Counts even at one and one for Granderson. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Strike two as the fastball is let go. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Kiermaier is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Miami. They're down 4 nothing. Now to the plate, G-Man Choi, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. Now hey Dan, as a former pitcher, that base. knock just took him to no a 12 way. game hit streak. Is that in the packet when you're looking over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, D Row. You go into a pitcher's meeting and they're making fully aware of who's hot and who's not. And trust me, they knew that he had an 11 game hitting streak. And after that knock, it's an even dozen. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Hard liner to center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Choi rounds the corner and is headed home. He pulls into third safely as a run will score on the play as well. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Manny, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hand back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. Stepping in now, Matt Duffy. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders, and this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Adam Conley is going to come on in relief Netflix. now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this no, game is just still go. really getting underway. Mike Zanino will be the first one to greet him here, as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back. 
And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Career number 247 as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Wow, that's a tough one. Certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. The right fielder, number seven. Standing Eric. in now, Eric Thames Thames. turned on down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Shot toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. But baseball is a game of streaks and oh, runs, and he is on one right that's now. That's yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can. And Robert, he's uh, doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. In now, Daniel Robertson. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will bang up against the wall. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across How to score. Well, we've already had really? some hard hit balls oh, in the first two innings here. And here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Into the box, Willie Adamas. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into oh, this one, but I think we can say that the cold streak fielder. is officially over. Yeah, that's his second hit of the Here game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Stepping in now, Kevin Kiermeyer as it's on the ground toward the hole. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. All right, here's the defensive for alignment Tampa for the Bay. Miami Marlins. The first baseman. And let's take a look at Brian He's Anderson. This guy, when I see him out there on the field, I think of one thing. He's a ball player. Offers versatility for his manager. Outfield, little third base. He was fighting for the 2018 Rookie of the Year. Standing in, G-Man Choi. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit, and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Man, this thing's blown open right here as they've exploded for eight runs in this inning alone. Everyone knows that offense is contagious. That much is pretty obvious in this one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Here's the first pitch to him. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Choi, base runner at first with one out. It's a base hit in the center field. Well, with that base hit, d -Row, he's three-quarters of the way to the cycle. The only one he needs now is the home run, and he should get another A-B in this one. Yeah, 100%, Dan. People are like to downplay the cycle a little bit. I I'm a huge fan of it myself. If he can mix in this homer right here, not only hits for the cycle, but four knocks in the game. Into the box now, Matt Duffy. Line drive to center field. Sierra is there now, and he has it, two gone. Now batting, left fielder, Tommy Bam. 
So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Tommy Pham. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch of the at bat. Pham connects and sends it to deep left field. Gone! And that one had some extra distance. A three run shot down the line in left so his remarkable season continues as this lead got even wider. So we'll take one more look and boy he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. In now, Mike Sinino. The short hit hard to his left, Rojas. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, the side is retired. But not before things change dramatically as they explode for 11 here to really open things up. We've played two full. The Rays are out in front, 15 to nothing. Striding forward now is the DH, Gabby Guerrero, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So with one away in the inning, we'll give you a look at the current standings entering play. As you can see that these guys have a pretty good stranglehold on the division to this point. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. One out, nobody on. The ball and two strikes. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Thames. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter number 13. Striding in, Starlin Castro. Starling. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Chopper foul. Castro tends to exploit left handed pitching many hitters are better against opposite handed arms of course but he's considered one of the best. and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They've obviously got a double-digit total in the hits column, but perhaps just as impressive is that they've Leading not struck out a single time today. The That's about fielder. as rare as it gets Aaron. in today's sport. So they have a lot to hey. feel good about right now, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. Popped him up. Castro calls for it. One down. So with one the gun in the inning, we'll take that's a look at where these guys sit in the standings. Yeah, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division ranks. 